what was the purpose of your research and how did the country you traveled to meet your research goals? So the purpose of my research was to uh, collect life stories in the garment, uh, in the garment industry um, in order to humanize products that uh, we consume. And I chose to go to China and to Cambodia because these two countries have a very strong um, relationship. They, uh, a lot of the manufacturing started in China or has now moved to Cambodia. Uh, China, I was actually staying in Hong Kong and traveling to Shenzhen for the interviews. Um, and uh, in order to save on hotel fee uh, for me and my translator that I was traveling with, we decided to make the trip in one day. So we left really early in the morning, like 7 a.m. And we arrived in Shenzhen, we got on the bus and went two hours to the industrial city outside. And we did the whole day of interviews there and we then um, we knew that we had to make the train coming back. And uh, I think it took a little bit longer at dinner or something. It uh, just and then the bus took a little bit longer, and we ended up um, getting off at a bus station. Uh, you know, the, ch the border between China and Hong Kong still exists, and they really take it seriously. Um, and it shuts at a certain hour, but we weren't quite sure when it shuts, and we, my translator thought that it was maybe 11 p.m. Anyways, it was about 9.45, and we pull up to a bus station, and we get out, and they start screaming at us in Chinese, and my translator, she says, run, run, and we, I'm like, I'm running, I'm running. We get to the, trans, the, the terminal, the guy says, they're closing the border, the last bus is about to leave, and I just had this moment of panic. It's like, am I really going to get stuck in China? <laughs> and so... The, all of these like uh, officers are screaming at us, run, 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 go, 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 the bus is leaving, the bus is leaving. And uh, they're really concerned about punctuality for this bus, I guess. So uh, my transla translator and I, we'd, like, we'd pay, I'm just like throwing money at the window and trying to get the receipts back for the, to submit it for the grant, whatever. And um, we finally make it to the bus and both of us are just like pouring sweat and from all the humidity and we're sitting on the bus and we're the last people to get on and everyone looks at us like, what the heck? <laughs> It was a very really stressful experience, but also it's, even though China and Hong Kong are, you know, Hong Kong is now part of China, it's really not, and um, the border is a serious thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what recommendations do you have for future students who want to travel to the same country? Uh, okay. I think it's really helpful to know people um, where you're going. And um, you should definitely reach out to friends, organizations, um, friends of friends before you uh, arrive so that you have people to talk to, um, people to connect you with other people you want to talk to, um, and also so you're just not alone. Uh, I think in terms of lodging, it's really helpful to know friends again because you can stay with them. Um, also, like spend your money really wisely. Where you sleep is important, and you want to be safe. But really, you just need a place to rest your head. Because the rest of the day, you should be out, around, walking, talking, eating. Um, I think probably the most fun thing about traveling to a foreign country is trying different food. So. It's super important that you go to the markets and eat in local restaurants, avoid chains. Um, if they have English on the menu, you probably don't want to eat there. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun to point at a menu and then see what you get. Yeah. Um, so how did, the, how did your trip complement your overall academic goals at the new school? So uh, my final project in 
studio class at Parsons, I've um, researched uh, through aerial images, mostly um, industrial expansion in Phnom Penh. And um, this project allowed me to go inside the, inside the buildings that I had been looking at um, in the aerial images and allowed me to get in on the ground in depth um, experience that I wasn't able to get otherwise and um, it really enhanced my overall understanding um, of the topics that I was studying and therefore uh, made me much more aware of what was really going on. So I think that overall um, this grant the project that I was able to pursue because of it really allowed me to go above and beyond my academic goals. Okay, thank you. Okay.